smells so delicious in here, you guys. It is a foodie's dream come true. All of the island's top food trucks in one place. Now, this weekend, I believe, coming up is the Food Truck Festival. Sharice Freitas, owner of Reese Bees, and Katie Kaanapu, marketing director of Kapolei Common, join us this morning with all the details. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Okay, so is that right? It's this weekend? That's right. It's on Saturday from 5 to 9. Okay, perfect. So tell us all the details because this is a very fun festival that a lot of people are going to want to come out to because, you know, when it comes to food trucks, you have to travel around the island to find them, but this is a one stop shop. That's right. So we do monthly events at Kapolei Commons all of the time. So this month we're doing Eat the Street uh, West Side version. So we have uh, Eat the Street come out and join us uh, every couple of months so we usually have them there four times a year so this time we uh, are celebrating summer so we have all kinds of different food trucks and food vendors that'll be kind of on our lawn area right in front of the movie theater okay wonderful and one of those food trucks is Reese Bees tell us about your business well Reese Bees started uh, last year but we fully blown this coming year 2019 and uh, myself and my husband Alfred and my daughter and uh, my grandson is a family-owned business um, and Reese Bees came about um, from my two aunts oh, yeah? they, my nickname is Reese and my middle first name of uh, my middle initial is B oh, so that's uh... how I got Reese Bees right so that's how the name became and I started cooking um, just playing around with the different foods and what have you we got patelli stew mm -hmm. with gandoli rice um, we also have patelli's that is old-fashionedly made with grating the bananas. My husband and my sister-in-law were great at grating the bananas and cooking the pork. Um, and patelli lumpias is one of our signature, which is everything in a patelli in an egg roll. Delicious. And you're actually going to be making some of those for yes, us today. Yes, I am. That's I sure am. Okay, and how did this, I guess, come about? How did you learn to cook? How did you find these recipes? My dad. My uh -huh. dad and my grandma and my mom. My grandma used to own a, her name is Helen Garcia, she used to own a Filipino restaurant back in Mauna Kea back in the 60s, late 50s, early 60s. And my dad um, used to be famous for all his Filipino food. Old Lichon making the night before, the pig hanging up in the garage, and every New Year, seven to nine courses, invited the neighborhood, friends and family. Wow. He always said, bring the New Year with a bang. Yeah. So that was the biggest thing. Augie Crespo and my mom, Marilyn, she inspired us. I mean, we were the back end cooks and cu cutting up everything. And her truly thing is you make it everything with love. That I makes love good. that. And speaking of that, I mean, you do have your slogan. What's your slogan again? Everything's um, made with lots of love. Okay, and that came from your mother? My mom. Okay. My mom, because of her grandchildren, mm -hmm. they, she would cook her infamous fried chicken. And her grandchild, um, Chauncey, great grandchild Chauncey, is his favorite. And he would say, Grammy, how do you make this chicken? He goes, everything <laughs> is made with love and the good tasting of love. I love that. All right, and speaking of, are we going to get started on Yes, so we're okay. going to make patelli lumpias, and I'm hoping that this is really hot enough. So my mom rose it all. I, and I cook, my husband and I, we do the filling, which is everything you see in the lumpia. So we're going to cook a couple of them. Perfect. Oh, yeah. delicious. Yes. And all of this smells so good. And everyone at home knows I love patelles and love patelles stew. I am so excited to eat your food. It smells Thank so you. good. But before we talk more about your food and before we talk more even about the festival that's happening this weekend, you guys at Couple of Commons, you do a lot of events. What other types of things do you do? We do. So every single month we do free family friendly events. So outdoor movie nights, uh, bubble bashes, dance parties. Eat the street, art and flea, all kinds of fun stuff, and we all have it on our lawn area right outside of the theater. Wonderful. And is that then where this event is too? It will okay. be, yes. We call it the lawn. Um, so it's this big open grass area. So bring pink picnic blankets and chairs, and you guys can dine picnic style with all the great food. So fun. So again, that's at Couple of Commons Saturday, July 27th. This is going to be from 5 to 9 p.m. And if you want more details, you can head on over to their website as well. But ooh, Ooh, right now we have these cooking up. What what is the filling that you have in the there? The filling is there is um, ground pork and grated banana, green bananas, and also cilantro, olives, achote, garlic, cumin. Um, a lot of love in it. Yeah, a lot, a lot of love. A lot of good stuff. And rolling. Um, my mom, it, Marilyn, she's an expert of rolling. She's very tidy and and. Um, 
unique about doing it. And mm. She doesn't let us touch it. So All right, well, I can't it. wait to try that yes. recipe. All right, we're going to be eating more with them in the next segment. Stay with us. It is going to be the place to be this weekend. All of the island's top food trucks in one spot. The Food Truck Festival is happening this weekend at Couple A Commons. Shabriz Freitas, owner of Reese Bees, and Katie Ka'anapu, marketing director of Couple A Commons, join us with all the details again. Good morning. Good morning. All right, and we just finished up the Patele Lumpias. Patele Lumpias, yes. I'm going to take a little bite and try that in just a bit, but for this segment, what are you going to be cooking Today, up? Today, um, this segment, we're going to make lichon kiwali. Uh, we kind of did a twist to it. It's um, pork belly, and we marinated last night over with um, adobo with, um, sauce with uh, vinegar, bay leaf, garlic, black pepper. Oh, be careful now, it's really hot. Oh, that was too hot. Ooh, sizzle! That is the sound of heaven. Yep, so you can smell the vinegar in it. Um, what we do is we fry it all up so it's nice and brown. Then I cut it up like an old Filipino lady with my butcher knife and my um, my cleaver, actually. And then this is what it turns out to be, the lichon wow. kiwali. It has tomato sauce, tomatoes, green onions, patis is our famous fish sauce, and also um, regular onions. We also had um, a new special that when we did the movie night um, two weeks ago, one of this boy was asking for um, lichon kiwali nachos. Yeah. So we make, this is wonton nachos. We fry, I fried this up this morning, so it's freshly made. And do you guys even do your own chips? Yes, so we, oh. uh, well, I just get it from a, a, a store and I okay. cut it up. I cut it up and I deep fry it just like this. So this is called the Bula Special, the Lichon Kiwali Nachos. Amazing. Mm. And, and you said for this particular recipe, you know, you put a little twist on it. How do you come up with those types of things? My husband. Oh, he, yeah? Um, yeah, he's the Portuguese one. I'm the Filipino, but <laughs> I think he's um, Filipino down deep in him. <laughs> but um, we kind of played around with it and marinated it and... The kids loved it, so we put it on our menu. Wonderful. And I'm sure everyone that comes to visit your food truck loves it as yes, well. Yes. So I know we talked a little bit about your family uh, being such a big part of this uh -huh. uh, business that you guys have. Tell us a little bit more about their involvement, you know, the different types of recipes that everyone kind of contributed and what their favorites are. Okay. So like I said, the lichon kiwali, mm -hmm. uh, patele lumpia. Uh, my nephew Bryce always comes over and I have a tasting day and they come over and they want to eat like um, patele stew, like the one that we had. Right. We tried it with the nachos, they enjoyed that. Um, one of the other favorite things that um, I've done was the nacho chips mm -hmm. um, with the pokey on it. So I make my homemade spicy sauce on it and also my shoyu sauce as well. So. Yeah, I just get creative. I have a big island at my house, and we just sit there and kind of be creative and go to the kitchen and then finalize everything. So they are the testers. Right. Yeah. And when you see us at Eat the Streets, we have an all-girl crew. Oh. So I have my nieces. They're all, um, they're the cooks. We cook at, um, at the Eat the Street locations. Um, we're also going to have boba drinks as well. So kind of... Oh, my of goodness. Yeah. You guys do it all. Yeah. So I got, I got <laughs> all my nieces, and we're all, you know, my, my siblings' kids and also my first cousin's kids, grandkids. So it's all in the family. That sounds incredible. And all of this looks and smells incredible. Okay, I'm going to have to dig in. Our, our camera guy, the guy behind the camera right here, already took half of this. Yeah, he's pointing to you right now. Those aren't my fingers. <laughs> but he ate half of this, so I'm going to try the other half. It was perfect because he let it cool down for me. All right, I'm going to take a bite. Oh. Is it onalicious? Onalicious. <laughs> thank my mom. My no. Mom. Yeah, my thank mom will. Thank you to your mom. Yes. And thank you to you because, mm, this was the one that she just fried up in the last one, and you heard the crunch, like, look how crispy and delicious this is. And it is filled with meats in there. Take a look. So everything oh. in is rolled up in a lumpia. All right, and you can get it this weekend. Remind us of all the details. That's right. This weekend, Saturday, at Coppola Commons from 5 to 9, and you can get all of the details on our website. Perfect. And speaking of, you guys also have some new... Uh, stores that people can check out. That's right. So Marshall's just opened. We have Core Power Yoga, actually, that just opened. Uh, Ulta Beauty, Young's Fish Market, wow. Genki, um, just expanded into the largest Genki in Hawaii. Ooh. Is that Kapolei Commons? And they have their bullet train. So lots of fun stuff happening. A lot there. of fun stuff happening and a lot of great food. Thank you, ladies, Thank you. for joining us this yeah. morning. Oh, I'm excited yeah, to I eat want to everything. Say one more thing, though, if yeah. I could. I mean, 
This more inspiration of everything was from my dad, Augie, mm -hmm. and my grandma, um, Helen, and also my, um, our newest angel that um, went up there, mm -hmm. Nikita Graham. She always wanted to do food, and it was always, Auntie, bring your best food and my best food, and let's bring it onto the truck. So she's another inspiration of ours as well. I so Nikita that. Graham and my dad and my grandma and... My mom. My mom is still here. She's 80 and she's rocking the world, so she's fine. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for Thanks joining us, for, for sharing the story behind all of these beautiful dishes as well. And again, you can go and taste all of this love this weekend.